Hi guys, Mike here at tabletby.com and uh, in this clip I'm going to quickly show you uh, the new features of the camera that are offered on Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. So we have the camera. One cool thing you probably know about it is when you're locking the device is locked you can quickly unlock straight to the camera. You can unlock to the home screen on, or unlock to the camera. So this is a cool feature. Now the camera, it takes a bit of time for the camera to load, it takes a bit of time to change between modes here. For instance, I'm, I'm uh, swapping from photo to video, it takes like 3 or 4 seconds at least on this device uh, I have here. Uh, this is a test unit so I'm not really sure if it's going to be uh, identical for all of the other things. Let me go ahead and put something here on the back so we can have something to take a photo of uh, okay it's not really working all right let me adjust this okay so this is there's something over there on the back you can see that it's uh, it's focusing quite all right and we're right now on the video mode and we're using that uh, back uh, camera on video mode you can also use the front facing camera and you're going to see me right now you can also use it in photo mode as well so this is the front facing camera you have a couple of options you can zoom in here so you have the zoom uh, it's a digital zoom you can see that it pixelates things and you have here the options uh, and there are a bunch of those you can adjust white balance I'm on auto right now and you have this effect, you can for instance put big eyes, if you select big eyes, it takes a couple of seconds to select this, but uh, the per it will detect the persons inside the frame and it will put them some big eyes, you can see there is a big, a big, there are big eyes for me over there, and if I'm moving inside the frame, it still selects me and I have those eyes over there, and there are all these other effects here, for instance small eyes, alright and the big nose and the small mouth okay and a bunch of others so these are just silly faces they're cool but they're not something that amazing you have the time-lapse interval you can create time-lapses here uh, okay not really sure how I get how I clear okay clear the effects and from here you can select the quality. Right now because I'm using the front facing camera I only get the 480p. But if I switch back to the back rear facing camera I'm going to get the 1080p and the HD 720p and the SD uh, resolutions over here. So taking a picture takes... it's very fast actually, it, it doesn't take uh, that long and we're actually here on video mo mode so I'm touching it to focus and because this device is very close here it's not focusing uh, it has a bit of problems with the focusing with focusing but overall the camera is actually quite good okay so let's stop this uh, what I don't like is that on video you can't really adjust uh, exposure which is something I would like to have for instance if you're shooting in a bright condition to uh, just lower exposure a bit so you get better quality for your clips uh, you can you have all these features here in uh, photo mode you have a bunch of different scene types you have the exposure for instance if you're going to put it like this a plus exposure it will make uh, a up, up to darker image it will make it brighter but uh, if you're using it with a minus it will darken the overall quality image so this is some this is directly what I should get right now if you're using a minus one uh, exposure you also have white balance and a bunch of different options here picture size picture size aspect ratio uh, you have an you can select ESOs over here shutter sound, anti-flickering, a bunch of different options and basically okay, so basically what uh, what's happening here uh, 
on Android 4.0, when you see these four uh, points uh, on top of each other, uh, this means there is an extra menu available. So if you click it, you get all these extra options here. And of course, you can also use the front facing camera and that was the flash. Yeah, there is flash on this one. There is a LED flash on the back and you can also use it only for, for uh, still images and if you go on the front facing camera you won't uh, get all these options here get a lot less so you're only getting exposure and white balance and picture size so a lot less options for this one taking a picture it's actually very fast here and you're going to get the picture stored over here So this is how it looks. Uh, if you're going back, you're going to notice, okay, let's go back to the camera. Like I said, it takes a bit of time to load. I'm not really sure if this is for all devices with Android 4.0, but just wanted to show you that you have this sharing options here. You can share via, via Twitter, put it on Picasa, via Bluetooth, on your email. So for instance, if I'm putting it from uh, on Twitter, I can now go ahead and share this picture on Twitter uh, very, uh, very quick. So, quite, uh, quite a nice feature here. Uh, this card. Okay. And one more thing I wanted to show you is this final option. There is the panoramic view. However, for a panoramic view, you have to be outside. I can't really take a panoramic shot inside my studio because you're going to have to start from one end and go to the other end and this way you will get the panoramic picture and I'm going to actually show you one of those panoramic postpone one of those panoramic pictures because I've taken some over here okay so this is how panoramic picture would look you're going to start from one end go to the other end it's a pretty simple uh, simple process and you get the panoramic picture for instance this is my room and my working desk and all these things overall it's a nice feature to have as well I'm not really impressed with the quality of, of the of the images but if you're using it outside and in good light you will get decent uh, decent shots okay so those were pretty much all the things I wanted to show you about the camera. Now on other devices with Android 4.0 may, there may be some other improvements. This is basically the stock uh, the stock camera application for Android ice cream sandwich. Others may introduce new features and they might actually add some new things uh, on this uh, on this camera, but overall basically this is what you what you should expect. I really like the new interface It's a nice addition. I, there are some nice improvements. There are plenty of options uh, Now we just have to wait to get uh, better sensors on tablets and uh, You will end with uh, getting decent video and decent pictures with such uh, devices. Okay, that's it for now Mike with uh, the transformer prime and the the camera application on Android 4.0. Thank you